Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. Now today, I'm really excited, but I'm also really sad. The reason is because um, we're going today to luxury flipping. This guy, Adam, he's amazing. He designs these luxury homes and he purchases them. And then of course, he renovates those homes and end up looking amazing. But I'm also sad because we had this really cool video when we're doing Q&A and then something happened when I was editing and then boom, all that footage is gone. <laughs> Luckily, we still have footage when we go to the actual home. So we're gonna go right now. And let, let me just give you a, a quick brief on what he's doing. So he gets a few investors and then they purchase like, uh, you know, a nice home and they renovate them. They do luxury because he says that the more spur footage, the cheapest it is to flip it. And when we were talking, actually, I was like, <clears throat> I'm sorry, but I mean, to me, it seems that if you buy X amount of square footage of tile, and then for a small house, and then you buy for a bigger house, it's a lot more, so you're spending more money. But what he said is that not really, because what it is is that, yes, a few, a few costs will raise a little bit, but ultimately, I mean, you're gonna have to paint the house and you can, you know, hire the painter for a day of work and it's gonna be for this house or for this house. So in the end, the return of the square footage, it overcomes the little expenses of adding a little bit of square footage and material and all the money that you get back, it's a lot more. So guys, I'm really excited. Let's head over there and I hope you guys like it. The compressor sometimes doesn't work as it's supposed to and will start kind of like splashing the paint instead of like spraying evenly. Yeah. That's so. the kind of, this is the good stuff. That's what I want to hear, like all, yeah. the, all the, yeah. And, but you know, you go there and you just do it. The thing is, again, you do it for yourself. Make as many mistakes as you can. It's like making a cake. The first one doesn't work. The second one tastes better. The third one, well, it's pretty good. Uh, the fourth one, everybody will brag in the neighborhood. Yes. So right. You have to be like the quality policeman, and they always say, "Oh, here, here, he is again." Because picky, picky, picky. It's not picky. I just tell them, "Listen, I can see it. You can see it. The next person who is gonna come by the house will also see this." <laughs> It looks very small from the outside. But he says this is small, but people, this is not small. This is, I, this is why I say he does luxury. This is not, one day I'll be like him, like, oh my god, I have my little, my little small chateau or something like that. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> it has a, a like somewhat uh, modern features, like the uh, is that cantera stone in the on the outside? No, it's an actual uh, regular tile, but it has oh. this kind of like a, a raw look, and I, that's what I like. Like you, you've been doing real estate with me for a little while. Is this like one of the smallest houses? No. no. <laughs> Everybody thinks it's a stone, but it's really a tile, so it's kind of weird. And that was, you know, an old house, so all the uh, floors... This is Cantera. Yeah, that's a Cantera. Yeah. So all the floors are old and, you know, in the squeak sometimes, that's part of the charm. Did you do something on the yes. floor? Yes, we just put like a, a gray stain on the floors to kind of make them a little bit, you know, Different because I don't like the uh, 
uh, red, because that's a red oak, oh, to okay. get like a red finish or the kind of blonde finish, so I kind of put like so a red stain. Yeah. You, did you, they have to sand down yes. and then... Uh, the house good. originally had like a eight uh, feet tall ceiling, so we took the whole center, we uh, demolished the whole uh, center of the house and, uh, you know, I raised the walls and also put, you know, the trusses uh, from exterior walls, so like the... Uh, the entire uh, place was redone and all the wood from the original uh, roof was reused to do those thick walls. So originally there was like a little porch you will see in an old picture I will send you and the entrance was somewhere right over there so the layout is now different. And now this might be relevant to the actual real estate part but okay the furniture is this yours is this your yes, actual furniture those are my that all is mine yes okay because it has a lot of character it has a lot, a lot of anna like 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 old and it's it's, it's beautiful uh i don't want to make this like look like a very old old house like an antiquish because you know i but it is kind of antiquish yes it is you, know, you cannot avoid this with this furniture the gray floor the the, the flat walls the container stuff it's it's kind of modern the air gets tough just breathing i'm alone but i'm still feeling like someone's with me it's strange You know, when you have people, you entertain and prepare the food, serve everybody, and then you know, have somebody who's gonna clean, take care oh, really? on the back, they can clean, you don't see that they're vicious. Because this is important, okay, so people, a lot of, this is a big real estate tip that you might wanna love or hate. Now, a lot of people are so loving the open concept, and there is so beautiful, but it's a pain in the butt. Because you're cooking, and then if you don't have a place where you put all your dirty stuff, you, I mean, you have to cook hours before and then it's all a mess and then when you're reheating the, the food it's all there so it's very uncomfortable because your guests are seeing you actually yes. like moving things around and there's always one guest going to be like hey you need a hand and when they say that it means they're not comfortable i call it like a dirty oh the room so there's additional sink here and you know if you need more, uh, if you need a uh, dishwasher, those cabinets are made, you can just remove. And it's drywall. Yeah, it's a drywall. It, it looks like it's like Adobe or something yes. like that. It, like, it's toner. Because I want like the idea all and new, so the walls are well, like hand plastered, kind of to give you like the all, you know, yeah, like yeah. a rustic, uh, you know, look. But here you put all the dishes, you have somebody who can clean them and just stack them. Or if you have even extra food, you can just hide it here right. and serve whenever everything is ready. So. It's strange. Right, you want to watch a movie maybe you want to yes, one day? Yes, uh, mostly news, just to be yes, update. And you watch movies? I'm not very often, I'm kind of like, yeah, just watch some, yeah, I, I work all the time. What about Netflix and chill? I mean, you, I, have, you have a day, do you watch a movie? That's, no, that's I don't do those things, like everybody says about Netflix, I feel like that's a foreign name for me. <laughs> this this has a three bedrooms uh, on this side and Two of those bedrooms like a Jack and Jill situation, and one is like a little ensuite uh, master. You can use either way because there's another master on the other side of the house. So. You think you live nice until you find a place like that? It's like. And uh, you know, all the bedrooms has a you know walking closet. Those are not huge, but those are walking closets. So I'm mesmerized not just by the house but by by your, oh my god, this is so modern and beautiful. I, I love quartz. No, here's another tip, really important. A lot of people like granite. Now granite, it looks beautiful, yeah, and got, it was very popular in the 
2010s uh, decade. Now, the thing what's going on is with granite, you have to reseal it every single time. Or so you don't have to do that. So that's perfect. It gives you, I mean, because sometimes, you know how you, when you have granite, you wash your hands and then you can see the water soaking in because that, uh, that's a stone, it has pores. Pores does not, so. <laughs> And it's like, it, is, it looks more modern because it's like solid color. Yes, exactly. That's what I like about, you know, about the color. Hold on, we're waiting for the camera. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, I moved here from Connecticut, so the furniture are, you know, like from the East Coast. And those are different furniture, like, you know, those lamps are Kutani lamps, so... I thought you were going to say, because you're, you're European, so I thought you were going to say, oh, this is a European Some, shit that I got up from no, like, centuries ago. You can buy anything. stuff here, you don't have to go to Europe, yes, you don't have to have a cow to enjoy the milk. So, right. the furniture, right? <laughs> okay, now we'll just go check the master bedroom. Where the magic happens! Oh, sometimes it's a disaster. <laughs> It's all, it all depends on the chemistry, right? <laughs> right. We've all been there. Well, yes. And we still don't have a lot of those around the What? A lot of those moments around the bus. <laughs> That's the master bedroom, you know. Again, what I did here, because it was a low ceiling, sometimes you can cut to the roof. Because, you know, the trusses goes like this, so you can a little bit cut and right. even like two feet, it will make a huge difference, you know, because then I feel like you can breathe. Yeah, it's not eight feet, you know, now it's ten feet. Yes. And then it's like actually high ceiling. Now, most houses that have high ceilings, the bedroom sometimes has it a little lower yes. and the living room has it higher. So this is yeah. exactly what you accomplished. Yes. Oh, wow. So, I love this. Yeah, it's kind of a goat scheme. Yeah, <laughs> for cold moments. So yeah, that's pretty much. Oh wow! That's pretty much here. Can we like peek? Yes, sure. In the closet is also you see there was the wall. There was it's like a little patio right oh, here was wow. another uh, entrance, but you know that was again. I thought I had a big closet. Wow. <laughs> but not. But not. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Oh, the bathroom. Can we walk in? Yes, definitely. Yay. Okay, now I want to. Do you have a housekeeper or how, or do you actually live like this every single day? I live like this every single day. I'm oh. a little bit kind of. I, I like a chaos. It makes me also. I feel like when I see it, it makes me a little bit like anxious. I have to clean it. So and also when I see things are tight, I can focus and I can think because otherwise I think, okay, this has to be done. This has to be put together or whatever. We all have our problems, that's mine. <laughs> well, you know what, I, mean? I need to hang out more with this guy so I can learn to be more organized because I cannot live without my mate. Like, I swear to God, my mate, it's my life. Bunny, te quiero! <laughs> Your name is Bunny. She's like the most amazing person in my life. It brings me joy. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh my god, okay, so let's check out the backyard. Oh, the backyard. The backyard. For fireplace like this, you can even sometimes use old. Mm -hmm. For an old, like you know, the insert from the house. For and then reuse it, yeah, reuse it. So you go for the reasons I. Yeah, be creative. Time is unfair, cause I know you're out there somewhere. Patient, waiting on Feeling like your grip might slip too soon. But I'm running. Chasing speed and gunning, I'll be right there all of a sudden. Okay, guys, this is it. There you have it. It's beautiful. It's magnificent. All right. It's strange. I know. I feel like you're here with me. It's like chasing gold. House is about uh, 3,600 square feet. It's a little bit bigger. 
and you can see like this house originally was also different I thought like every house was supposed to have a nice entrance so that was added like this entrance to kind of also give like a visual lift to the house did you do all this at the yes, carpet here? that kind of, looks new again to kind of do like uh, all the new so it's treasures of the door is you see yeah, the, we, the, so this construction, changed. this construction yeah. process. There are some people working, so... Oh, wow. Okay, so this is, this is new salt, right? And that's new. That's or? new. So that's the same floor was on the other house. And then, you know, we just send it all the way down and put a different stand. And the floor comes back to life. You want to see how they put the floor? Go ahead. Take, yes. take it out. Yeah, yeah. There's a reason I can feel my heart stop beating And the air gets tough just breathing I'm alone but I'm still feeling like someone's with me So he was saying this is a good music for your ears because these things happening It's action Exactly Just when it's quiet that means oh no, nobody's working Alright, let me figure out really quick because People are working and we don't want to interrupt them. Um, here's going to be the awkward question. How much average you would in, put in to invest in a house like this and just in the construction process uh, like about i would say you know, for a house like this i would spend like about hundred thousand yeah 100, because 000. it's a bigger house so yes uh, yeah that's i feel like it's sufficient but plus i'm my own contractor so don't forget that and also i do the work if i have to uh, so hire somebody to, might go higher to who come and do what I do and just come here in the white gloves and just point I don't like this I don't like that that's not the point try to fix it and make it to the point that you like it your neighbor has horses horses because there's a lot of land here probably I should have mentioned who is my neighbor but there's gonna be huge huge house according to it's like a few million dollar house right there on the back because the neighbor purchased a small house it's like a private street and uh, so this is a country club yeah. area so you're gonna see here a lot of the million dollar homes and and again it's about the location the property value yes. here is gonna be always really high doesn't matter is this home is relatively smaller than what yes. they're building yes. over there it helps you because it all has the same standards yes. all right guys well let's go back to the studio this is amazing I love it I'm in love I'm in love it let's go back to the studio guys thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it you saw those homes they're absolutely breathtaking actually I would love to live in one of those and the funny thing to me is how he was mentioning that, oh, this is like my little home, the little house. And I'm like, dude, this is a huge ass house. Most people do not live like that. But, um, so that tells you that he's actually uh, used to dealing with this uh, big luxury homes. I'm also excited to see how that second home is gonna end up looking like. If you wanna follow Adam, I'm gonna link his information down below. Click, follow him, and follow his, his career. This is it for today. I hope you guys liked it. Please subscribe, the big red button, give the thumbs up, share it with everybody you know. And of course, you know all my social media. Everything is at Eduardo Koch01 um, on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. So guys, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.